In this video, we're going to do some SEM image analysis on this pattern here. This is an EUV rigorous mask model we're using the TRIG simulator. This pattern is 240 nanometers by 240 nanometers and it has oblong contacts in four different directions. And I'm going to show the new uh, ellipse fitting feature of the uh, SEM image analyzer. So here's the uh, simulation results and uh, you'll notice that we have the uh, stochastic resist model and um, we've repeated the pattern that way we don't have to simulate a mask this big but we get the repetitions that we need for the stochastic resist model so that we have multiple instances of this set of this set of four contacts so that we can do some stochastic analysis and show off the features of the SEM image analyzer. So I've already run this simulation. It takes a few minutes. And um, we are going to send the SEM images to the SEM analyzer. It's asking us to save it. And so now we have our SEM images. Okay. And um, you can see that it's already added the um, metrology point from our hyperlith here. But we're going to add a our new um, elliptical ellipse fit, fitted ellipse for contacts measurement. So we come over here and we add the ellipse and we need to set a few parameters as we place it. I'm just going to set a large CD tolerance so that I capture everything. And what you can see is that it's choosing these rays or spokes from the mouse point and it's finding where they intercept the ellipse and then it's or, or the contact edge and then it's fitting an ellipse to it. So we can choose that we want more spokes or more angles or more points on the ellipse. Eight is a good number here and I'll set the position a little bit better. We'll measure this, ho this horizontally oriented contact. I'm also going to play with these um, smoothing numbers and see how that affects our fit there. Now because it's an ellipse and you're fitting it to kind of a slightly rectangular contact, it's not going to be the best fit, but this is what people uh, do this is one way to measure contacts. Okay, so we've got that placed. We'll set up the gang. I know that my pitch is 240. So this will give us nine, um, nine uh, measurements. And now we'll zoom in here. And we will um, set this as a template. By the way, I'm measuring the defocus minus 50 here. So we'll create a template from this. Well, first we'll rename it. We'll call it um, just just a simple name to uh, C1, uh, just so that we can uh, recall it easily. And we'll create a template. So when you create a template, it sets a search pattern based on this and it puts it over here so now we have a template which then we can apply to all of the other SEM images so there's the search pattern and there's the position detail so we'll select all of these we'll remove all measurements from them and we'll add the C1 measurement so it's takes a few seconds to, to do the processing because it has to pattern match and then it has to do all those measurements. Just think each one of those contacts has 16 measurements and then you have nine and then you have five images. So now you've got them placed on all of the images and, and this is another new feature um, is that we can make a report. We could uh, 
well, we could output the contact CD to the list as before. And so here's the CD through focus, and that's averaged over the nine different positions. But here's what's new also is that we have this tabular text report. And so now you have all of the gangs, gang member measurement information. And so you could form your RMS or export this to a spreadsheet and do your own analysis this way. And uh, that concludes this video.